Ole Hokia, he no wonder what got to me, he papa. Neke, neke, eke, eke, maida, for a pity, maida, or my Kunui ke aku rahi, no mai hoki mai ki muri huku polyfest 2023 and we on fano. Welcome back to muri huku polyfest 2023, bringing you five days of kapahaka and cultural performances down here at IOT Stadium Southland. It's day two. Talo falava, olo ingo poliko falilia, olo aonga e Southland Boys High School. I'm here ten. <laughs> kia ora, uh, kia ora tato. Uh, my name is Junior Tonga. I am a key leader down here at Southland Boys uh, at Murihiku Polyfest. I am a kaiako at Southland Boys High School, close to my heart. Nore re te whanau. For those of you at home, we are here on the couch giving you the lowdown and the updates for Murihiku Polyfest 2023. Oh, we would love to engage with. <laughs> we would love to engage with you uh, in the chat box. Tell us where you are. We are uh, who you're watching, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we had Fano tuning in from Idaho. Do you know where Idaho is? Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the USA, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can rewatch yesterday's live stream and rewatch all week on miharu.org. Now, I just want to give a quick shout out to our. Our sponsors, a big thank you to Creative New Zealand, Te Puni Kōkiri. Community Trust South, ILT Foundation. ILT Invercargill Licensing Trust, Invercargill City Council. Ministry of Youth Development, Community Organisation Grant Scheme, aka COGS. Winton Gore, uh, Windsor and Alice Road, New World, Wallace Town School. And Southland Boys High School. Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, big, misi, uh, big mihi to our Miharo team who have put on this amazing event. Uh, Tans and the crew, and, the, and to all the volunteers, all oh, the volunteers wearing these beautiful tops. Um, just a big mihi to you guys. Without you, this, none of this would be happening. So, na mihi nui kia koutou. Mm. Now, we're just going to do a quick recap of yesterday, my boy. Mm. What was one of the, tell me some, one of the highlights that you had yesterday? On the, oh, the only thing that I can remember was just a little kid running around on stage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, he got so excited and he was just running up and down there. Eh? Yeah. You know, that's all we love to see, you know, embracing, you know, the culture. I think that's probably my biggest highlight is just all of the schools that were up there um, giving it their raw. Pomahaka, man, they had so many uh, schools up on stage together because that's what it's all about, Fano, coming together and celebrating the culture. You don't have to do it in your small kura. If you want to join another kura, do it. Cut off you, get together, create a kappa group, come and stand on the stage as a, a community, uh, as a um, community of schools. Here, tera. Yeah, big shout out to the tutors, eh? Not hard, yeah. not easy to keep those kids on task. Yeah, you know, and running around. Yeah, the tutors, man, unsung heroes. They are the real Avengers. All right, up first is Te Roro Faka Tipurang, right. or Awa Ru, and AWS South Sprouts. The tutor is Andrea Cross. Uh, Te Roro Faka Tipuranga or Awa Rua is a Marae based early childhood centre situated at Te Rau Aroha Marae in Bluff. Tamariki and Kaimahi have a strong connection to Marae, Fano, Hapu, Iwi and Hapuri. They have the privilege and opportunity to spend time at the Marae to Tautoko Manuhiri who visit Te Rau Aroha on a weekly basis. This is where Tamariki and Kaimahi can embrace their whakapapa links to Awarua and contribute to the Iwi through Waiata and the practice of tikanga or Awarua as mana whenua. Today, Te Rauro are excited to have Awarua Whānau Services' very own South Sprouts Whānau join them on stage this morning. South Sprouts have been regular visitors to Te Rauro Weekly this year to join in Waiata practices with the Kaimahi and Tamariki. Te Rauro Aroha, uh, Te Rauro Kaimahi and South Sprouts he Whānau Kotahi Tātou. Stand by Te Rauro.
welcome to Marae, Fano, Hapu, Iwi and Hapori. They have the privilege and opportunity to spend time at the Marae to Tautoko Manuhiri who visit Te Rau Aroha on a weekly basis. This is where Tamariki and Kaimahi can embrace their whakapapa links to Awarua and contribute to the iwi through waiata and pra the practice of tikanga or Awarua as mana whenua. <laughs> Today, Te Rauro are excited to have Awarua Whānau Services' very own South Sprouts Whānau join them on stage this morning. South Sprouts have been regular visitors to Te Rauro Weekly this year to join in waiata practices with the Kaimahi and Tamariki. Te Rauro Kaimahi and South Sprouts he Whānau ko tahi tātou. No reira, welcome to the stage Whānau, Te Rauro Whakatipuranga o Awarua and AWS Sprouts.
Hara mai te piwari te raurau whakatipuranga o Awarua and AWS South Sprouts. Thank you so much for that beautiful performance. Right, Fano, we are very, we have a very special guest with us here today. We have David Reedy from New Zealand Fire and Emergency. I don't know about you, but I feel safe already. Kia ora, David. Kia ora. Ko wai koe, no hea koe. Uh, kia ora, ko David Reedy, tōku ingoa. Um, I grew up in Bluff, uh, living in Otipoti these days. Um, but yeah, so that's me, Fano from the East Coast, the mighty East. Nice. Uh, for the Fano watching online, um, what's your involvement here at Polyfest? Can you share about your mahi? Um, so for my mahi, I'm the Potaka Wainga Māori for Fine Emergency New Zealand. Um, so essentially, I guess Māori liaison for the uh, Lower South Island. So I cover from Wamaru to Stuart Island to Queenstown. Um, part of that role is to help increase the Māori capability within the organisation um, to help the brigades um, with their tikanga. Um, some real pronunciations, all that kind of stuff, so it's pretty exciting. Um, today, or this week actually, at Polyfest here for the whole week, um, we got our little stall down there, um, so if anyone wants to come and have a look, and you can sign a piece of paper, and uh, we can send some fireys around for home safety checks, um, see if you need smoke alarms, if you've got smoke alarms, they can do smoke alarm installs. Um, we got a few handouts and we got the music as well. Kiaro ha mai mai bro, we just, uh, we're on uh, right here. We've got our next group up, which we have is Aparima, uh, Riverton Aparima Primary. The tutors are Jenny Columbus and Barry Thompson. Riverton Primary School, also known as Aparima, is a god.
Tamihi Tino Nui Kia River Tinaparima Primary School and the tutors Jenny Columbus and Barry Thompson. Mi haro rawa mahi. Riverton Primary School, also known as Aparima, has been practicing over a year under Fire Jenny, who leads the senior couple group. Aokaya Tama is Dejan Edgerton, and Aokaya Kotiro is Naomi Poa. Now we are back here with our, our brave David, who has just given us a bit of a rundown of uh, his mahi. Um, so we'll just pick up where we left off, but there was one wee question I had. You said the word fireys would come and visit. What's, what's a fiery? Um, just one of the firefighters, the oh. boys on the trucks, so yeah, they're known as the fireys. So you can call to have firefighters come and show up at your house? Uh, yep, yeah, we got um, forms down on the table at the front, so if you just fully fill in your up. details. Um, not fully geared up. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have different uniforms for oh, different yeah, activities. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wicked. And a radio with them? No, no, I'm joking. Carry on. Uh, carry they've got on sirens. <laughs> They'll be in a fire truck there. Yeah. Uh, so you guys are here with us um, at Polyfest down in the uh, main area. Yep. Tell us a bit more about that. Yep, so we've got a few displays and handouts on our desk. We've got um, the VR headsets. Sure. Um, quite a few people have used those at the moment. They're pretty cool. You put them on. It's all about escaping the house in a fire. Um, we got handouts and we got a prize for a hundred dollar Rebel Sport voucher. There's a little quiz, you fill it up, put it in the box, and that'll be drawn on Friday. Yeah, that's so, awesome. yeah. We got music too, we've got a guitar, so if people want to come and serenade us and sing our songs, we're <laughs> more than welcome to do that. Well, I know someone who's pretty good at that by the name of Rob Dallas. He's, he's pretty good on the guitar, he can sing a bit too. Oh, so I've heard. Yeah. So I've heard. <laughs> Word on the street. Yeah, oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Uh, one more thing, just what do you love about Polyfest? Um, it's just awesome. Like, Seeing the little humans out there on the stage enjoying themselves, freedom of expression of culture. Um, you know, it's not every day in New Zealand we kind of get to do that. Um, so it's just good seeing them on stage and enjoying themselves and the smiles on the faces. And um, for me doing this, just meeting community, being out amongst, I guess, the people, you would say. Yeah. Um, I, loved, I love the community. And like I said, I grew up in Bluff and being back here, I've caught up with so many people. And that was just yesterday and I've got four more days and I just... It's been great and just reconnecting yeah. community. That's my role, all about community and helping our Pacific and Māori people. Yeah, nice. Oh, just remember Fano to engage with our chat box, Fano. Um, uh, up, the, up next, we have another group coming shortly and we'll introduce them. But we'll get back to our guest and we'll just ask them one more question. Now, in the VR headset, someone talked about numbers that were at the top and at the bottom. <laughs> You just give us a little indication. What were they talking about? Yes, so the top number is the temperature, the hottest temperature. So the longer you take, the hotter the temperature gets. And the lower number, because when you get down low, the air's colder, so that's the colder temperature. Um, yeah, it was pretty funny. We had some people, like, duck and roll on the ground because that's where the cold air was. It was hilarious. Yeah. Awesome. Looks cool. Anyways, up next, uh, babies from just, from just Four Kids Home Based Care. Tutored by Susie McNaddy. Welcome to the stage, just four kids, home based care. Now we're going to throw it to the stage and give it up for home based. <laughs> Yeah. 
thank you just for Kids Home Base Care and kia ora to Sapphire and Quincy watching from home. Let us know who you're watching, whānau. Right, we're going to do a bit of a recap here, whānau. We'll just go back over what we've watched today. Now, honestly, if you're having a look online, you're going to see these beautiful costumes. Our, our tamariki looking very cute on stage. What are some of the things you saw? What's one of the things you love about oh, the scene so far? I love those poi actions, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. Oh, and check out the t-shirts. Like the, the the amount of time that goes into the uniforms, Fano. Oh, look at how look how beautiful those are, and their moko kowai, the stenciling on point, it's looking really, really good. Oh, stop it! Honestly, stop it. Like it's just too much cute, cute overload here. <laughs> Norere te whanau, we are back here on the couch and we do have uh, another one of our rangatahi on our program who are joining us. Kia ora, no he koe, kia ora. ko wai koe. Oh, kia ora, my name is Kingi Thomas, um, a year 11, oh, year 12 at Royal College. I'm from Kaitaia. Yeah, kia ora. Yeah, so any whanau from Kaitaia, make sure you jump on that chat box and give us a shout out to our bro um, Kingi who is on the couch with us. Uh, Norere. Oh. Uh, up next is Glengarry Kindergarten. I'm throw it to the stage. <laughs>
Thank you to Glengarry Kindergarten Judo tutored by Jim Ohara. That was the Tomariki and Kaiko from Glengarry Kindergarten. They've been practicing these songs for several weeks now. The children have enjoyed learning the words and actions over the course of this time. It is an absolute privilege to be here today to perform for you all. Thank you. <laughs> Up next, Winton School. We're playing a video first. Hello, I'm Martin Presser. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter from Chicago, um, Samoan Nguyen descent. And I had the pleasure of okay, well, having my On makeup last release class. party at Miha. Here we go. As a singer-songwriter, looking back, my first um, performance on the stage was actually with Miharo um, at Polyfest and they host such a good ship here and giving opportunities to kids all over Southland and around schools to perform and I was just one of those lucky ones and um, yeah I'm happy to represent that and say that that was my first performance and one of many so far so yeah the staff are great welcoming people with open arms here and I remember asking during the night. Next on stage, Fano, we have Winton School, tutored by Kayla Hodson, Tiana Gilliland, and Joe Gilliland. Winton School, Kapahaka, Ropu are excited to be back at the Morihuku Polyfest this year. Please give it up for Winton School.
in school. Uh, kia ora to the 100 whanau online watching. Shout out to Room 12 at New River Primary. Yeah. Yeah. Remember to call it all in the chat. We've also had over 4,000 replays for yesterday. Uh, so up next we have Ruru School Potama, uh, and it's tutored by the Potama staff. Big shout out to the staff who are doing that extra mahi. Potama Ropu Arafa is a Fano syndicate at Ruru Specialist School. We are passionate about kapahaka and have practiced hard all year in our classes and as a collective. We are very excited to be performing this year at Polyfest. Polyfest is a highlight of the year for many in our ropu. Thank you to all the staff for their afi, afi? Yeah. <laughs> and tautoko and preparing us for Polyfest. Shout out to our whanau and friends who are here today to watch us perform. Ngā mihi nui. Now, we have to do a bit of a, a sponsor plug for our sponsors out there because without them, we wouldn't might be able to do this. <laughs> so a big thank you to Creative New Zealand, Te Puni Kōkiri. Uh, Community Trust South, ILT Foundation. ILT Invercargill Licensing Trust, Invercargill City Council. Ministry of Youth Development, COGS, aka Community Organisation Grant Scheme. Winton Gore, Windsor and Alice Road, New World and Wallace Town. And Southland Boys High School. <laughs> Massive mihi to the Miharo team who put on this amazing event. To Tans and the crew and all the volunteers. Nga mihi, tino nui kia koutou katoa. We've got some highlights for you whanau, so check these out. Oh, look at those like, two kahatane. Yeah, yeah, look at them standing strong yeah. in their culture. Mean. So it's good to see those kids up on Whoa. stage, you know, yeah. expressing themselves. Yeah. In the uniforms, though, mm. I wonder if they knew that the theme was yellow this year because they got that <laughs> yeah. wee bit of a hint of oh, yellow. Oh, yeah. yeah but... It was fate. <laughs> <laughs> the first time on stage, eh, they look pretty good. Yeah. Mm. And they're looking so cute. Mm. <laughs> Oh, and then they go with their poi and they put their A, so we call them an A in the Cook Island culture, the necklace that they're wearing. Also, for those at home, uh, we are here on the couch giving you the lowdown and, and the updates for Murihiku Polyfest 2023. We'd love for you to engage with our chat, bo our chat box. Tell us who you are, where you are, and who you're watching. Yesterday, we had Fano tuning in from Idaho, USA. You can rewatch yesterday's live stream and rewatch all week on miharo.org Video time! <laughs> Here are some highlights from yesterday. Ruru School Potamu Potama Fano hold tight.
Up next is Ruru School Potama, tutored by the Potama staff. Potama Ropu are the Fano Syndicate at Ruru uh, Specialist School. We are passionate about Kapahaka and have practiced hard all year in classes and as a collective. We are very excited to perform this year at Polyfest. Polyfest is a highlight of the year and many in our fa and for many of our Ropu. Thank you to all staff for their afi and totoko in preparation for our polyfest. Shout out to the Fano and friends who are here today to watch us perform. Nga mihi nui.
We've got a couple of messages from our chat box. Yeah. Kia ora, where's my ra this year? Oh, auntie, oh, ra's auntie. Here he is. <laughs> yeah. There he is. <laughs> Shot raw. <Yeah. laughs> Anyways, up next on the stage, we have Winton Kindergarten. Should have by Anna Sutherland. Thank you for coming and watching Winton Kindergarten. We have been singing and practicing for Polyfist every day. We love Kapalka and we do a mean pukana. You just wait and see. Our songs are special to us because they are fun. We hope you enjoy our performance. Thank you to all our whānau and supporters all the way from Central, Southern and beyond. Yeah. yeah. So Winton Kindergarten coming up next. We know we saw Winton School a little bit earlier. Oh, we're so excited to see our babies getting up on stage. It's always good when we see them in their uniforms, eh? Yeah, always good. Yeah. So... What are some of the, we've got a couple of replays coming up for you guys, so if you want to have, tune in and have a wee look and check them out. Oh, oh see their putty that they're wearing? Ah, oh, they're so good. So we realise they find that a lot of that time that goes into those groups in the background, making the uniforms, putting them together, making sure they colour coordinate. <laughs> Of these songs as well, you know, hit us up with a couple of classics, you know? Yeah! yeah. When you hear those songs, it just you know, takes you back, eh? Mm. Being on the stage, back in my day, son. Uh, we won't start that story. <laughs> right. right, oh, Vano, there we go. We've got Winton Kindy coming up. Let's go, Winton Kindy. We know you're going to come on here and rock this Polyfest stage. We're going to have to. Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming and watching Winter Kindergarten. We have been singing and practicing for Polyfest every day. We love Kapahaka and we'll do a minute. <laughs> Kapai, we're over to the Kapahaka. Oh, no, that's all good. Thank you to all of our whānau and supporters all the way from Central Southland and beyond. Welcome to the stage, Winton Kindergarten. Um, can we get some baby catches at the front of the stage, please? Up here. Homo, it's Bucky Bucky Vano.
baby catches, please don't go too far because our next door needs you as well. All right. Te Ropu e Whaiakenei is drama. Thank you to Winton Kindi. Before the next stop, uh, we'd like to give a big thank you to our sponsors, Creative NZ Te Puni Kokiri. Community Trust Southland and ILT Foundation. ILT Invercargill Licensing Trust, Invercargill City Council. Ministry of Youth Development, Community Organisation Grant Scheme, or aka COGS. Winston, Gore, Winster and Ellis Road, New Road and Wallace Town School. And of course, Southland Boys High School. Yeah. <laughs> right, Etifano, we're moving on to our next uh, Ropu who is going to be coming up next, which is Drummond Rural Kindergarten. Um, there are no tutors stated. Farno, if you are a tutor, make sure you put your name down. We'd love to acknowledge you. The bio, the rural, the rural atmosphere and sense of Tūranga Waiwai here at Drummond evokes many positive partnerships developed uh, between Tamariki, Kayako, Farno, and our wider community. Fanonga Tanga is such a valued, respected, and living element within our environment, and we pride ourselves in how welcoming and caring our Tamariki all are. Something that fills us with aroha. Our songs represent who we are with mana, uh, some mana whenua, and the value and value the importance that we hold on hononga and whanaungatanga. Nō no reire te whanau. We're going to the stage for Drummond Rural Kindergarten. Let's go.
One of the messages from the chat box, near the pause is tuning in from Kaiwedo in the Bay of Plenty. Miharo! <laughs> Up next is Little One's Early Learning Center, tutored by Caitlin and Sarah. Little One's Early Learning Center is a small rural center in Edendale, Southland. We are super excited to be performing again at Polyfest for 2023, and we love that. Please come back uh, every year so then we can see you again. Do you right? know, sorry man, do you know what we have here when we have our, our babies getting up on stage? What? We have a roll called The Baby Catchers. Ooh. Now, weren't you a baby catcher last year? Yes, I was actually. And tell us, what happened last year when you did that? Uh, last year there was a kid that um, nearly fell off stage, so I just ran out quickly and I caught him. And I absolutely, and I Baby actually, catcher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, yeah. I, I actually felt like the man when I caught him here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like the only one that caught one. Yeah. 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 No we're, we're here for Little One's Early Learning Centre. We're going over to the stage. Let's go.
to Fano, welcome back. We want to say a huge thank you to our school who was up just previously. Um, we've got a few technical things happening here, so we're just going to roll with it. So, little uh, little ones, early learning centre. Thank you so much for your participation at our Polyfest. Uh, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsors, Creative NZ, Te Puni Kokiri, Community Trust South, and IOT Foundation. ILT, Invercargill Licensing Trust, Invercargill City Council, Ministry of Youth Development, Community Organisation Grant Scheme, aka COGS, 
Winton Gore Windsor and Alice Road New World, Wallace Town School and Southland Boys High School. <laughs> Now we are going to throw straight over to the stage right now, Farno. Bang.
Thank you to Southland Adventist Christian School, tuned by Ann Smells. This was the first time they ever performed at Polyfest. It's cool. <laughs> Our performance will represent, oh, they represented the Māori, uh, Cook Island, Samoan and deaf cultures. Oh. You know the one thing I really loved? It's those ears, man, the blue. You know, that yeah. really stood out. Yes, their ears, the bottom half of their uniform or their mm. costume. Uh, known as a pario, ie, lava, lava, so... Yeah, let's throw to Lisi, who's roaming around backstage with Alex. Kia ora everyone, welcome backstage at Murihiku Polyfest 2023, this is day two. I'm here with Tuturu School, say hi everybody! So, these tamariki are about to go up on stage, we're going to follow them and give you a bit of behind the, the scenes access to what it's like to walk up on stage and be up on stage um, like the performers would. So we're just waiting for this kura to come off and we're going to make our way up. Here we go. Okay. Wave guys, say hi to the camera. Say hi. <laughs> all not, all good. <laughs> okay. And here we go. So this is the ramp the performers walk up to come to the back of the stage, as you can see. Tamariki, here they come. Wave, guys. <laughs> Woohoo, performance time. <laughs> so, here we go. Here's our crowd. We're entering onto the stage now. Here they are. Go up there, girl. Yeah. Ooh. Move to the front. Here we go. Here's our Tamariki. Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is our stage. This is our. Tamariki coming onto the stage, about to perform in front of their whanau, their friends, and everyone supporting them. So, we wish you best of luck, guys. <laughs> oh, cutting back. Up next, we have Tuturo School, tutored by Athena, Kent, and Lizelle Penny. Um, welcome to the stage, Tuturo School. <laughs>
Thank you, Tutoro Primary School. Also, shout out to Lucy on the roaming camera. Just gonna do a bit of a quick recap, far no, of our last school that was up, Tutoro Primary School. Look at their uniforms, a lot of time goes into that, so shout out to those volunteers. So good to see those kids on stage, honestly. Yeah, no, just look at the, like, I think I like the ihi and one look at that, man. <laughs> Going for it, and that's all we want to see, eh? everyone getting right into it. We would also like to thank our Nore Te Up next we have Waverley Park School Pacifica, tutored by Tina Beard, Jeanette and Mrs. Paulin. Kia ora na Talofa Malo, Waverley Park School's Ainga Ano Pacific Group. would like to thank their dedicated tutors, Jeanette, <coughs> Mrs. Beard and Mrs. Paulin for sharing their many talents over the years. We'd like to thank you, I'd like to thank our Waverley Park Ainga our wonderful families and our teachers for their support. We have fundraised for many years to buy some drums for our group. The boys sound fantastic. We want to acknowledge our beautiful children for choosing to participate in the group. Some have been in the group for many years. Your enthusiasm, dedication and commitment to our Pacifica group has been amazing. To the year six children, we look forward to you following your Pacifica journeys into high school. How lucky your high schools are to have you share your Pacifica values with them. We are very proud. Please welcome Ainga Ano.
days. That was amazing. Thank you so much, Waverley Park Pacifica. Ainga ano. We are very lucky, Fano. We have uh, some special guests on our couch today, all the way from Creative New Zealand. Tēnā koutou. Tēnā kimai ko wai koutou, no here koutou. Kia ora na tato katoa toa, kia ora na te fano o Miharu Murihiku. Uh, Mei taki maata for having us here. We are from Toi Aotearoa Creative New Zealand, um, and it's such a privilege to be here. Uh, ko Ivitiro's Ariti Tokuingo, no Rarotonga e Achu e Samoa Maiao. Talo falava, looking for or uh, Paul Lisi. Kia ora. Uh, my name is Paul Lisi, and uh, my family hail from Samoa as well. Um, my name is Simon and I am Nguyen Tongan Samoan, coming from South Auckland, Mangere, Auckland. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, we had that wee game of pass the microphone. And, no, you, you, you. So polite. We love the team from Creative New Zealand. So Creative New Zealand are major players supporting uh, culture and arts in Aotearoa, especially with the new Pacifica Arts Strategy, uh, which has been recently announced. Can you tell us what Creative New Zealand do and um, how they do it? What a great question. Um, <laughs> our main focus, I guess, um, as an organisation is to help um, develop and foster and promote New Zealand arts. And I guess for us as Pacifica people, um, a lot of our work involves a lot of our community, so we are, I guess, representatives of our community because we take our people with us we, in all the spaces that we go to. Um, and the Pacific Strategy is just one of those mechanisms or ways in which we can okay. ensure that a lot of our um, Pacifica artists, Pacifica organisations, or just organisations who work with Pacifica people are funded or looked after and um, there's a real strategic focus on how we bring together everyone and uplift um, the Pacific Arts for all. Okay. Um, I know that um, our late um, patron, Johnny Pinesula, he used to say um, that there are Pacifica Arts uh, south of the Cook Strait, and it is so beautiful to see you uh, coming down here to enjoy our polyfest. We have been sending the invitation and, uh, you know, with COVID and everything out there, I know it was a bit of a mission to get here, but thank you so much for coming along and being a part of our festival. We hope you enjoy it. But what we're going to do is we might have to interrupt a wee bit here. We are going to keep you back here and we're going to have another chat. So you're not off, you're not off yet. So we're going to throw it over to the stage shortly. So up next, whānau, we have Wyndham Primary School. Mei taki maata for that performance, Waverley Park. Thank you. You were amazing out there. Be aware, whānau, just a little uh, wee message for everyone of scammers that may be out there, just to let everyone know that everything is free to watch. Thanks for, for, to our sponsors. So please don't enter your card details. We would never ask you to do that online. So please, whānau, keep an eye out for that. But up next, we have Wyndham Primary School, tutored by Carol Hayes. This is the first year that our whole school has come to Polyfest, and we have junior and senior students performing together. No mai no everyone get up there, we want you all. The majority of our school is involved. So over to the stage for Wyndham Primary School.
Hara Maite Mi Haro O Wyndham Primary School, their first whole school performance at Polyfest. And also, kia ora to the whānau watching in Australia, USA, Canada, and the United Kingdom. Man, we're reaching out there, whānau, we're reaching out there, Mi Haro Muruhiku Polyfest, ki te ao. So we're going to carry on now a wee bit of our uh, kōrero with our Creative New Zealand whānau who have come down all the way from Wellington and Auckland to be a part of us, uh, our whānau here. Um, one last wee question I wanted to ask is, I know it's only been a couple of days and you might have just sort of arrived late, yesterday late um, in this morning. Um, what is a highlight so far of the Murihiku Polyfest 2023? Well, it's only day two, but I've cried <laughs> twice or three times already. <laughs> Because I've been so moved by what I've seen. I think it's the talent of our beautiful tamariki that are representing all Pacifica cultures, you know, Māori, Kuki, Samoan, Tong and Fiji and all of our aroha mai to all of the other beautiful Pacific nations, which I haven't mentioned there. Um, but it's also seeing, I suppose, the village that sits in the background um, working to create all of this. And not just our beautiful living tūpuna, the older people that have um, set this up here, but also the mapu, the rangatahi that are working in the background, learning skills, developing so that they can then take this um, festival into the future. So it's incredibly humbling to see that. And I think um, every time we go to festivals like this, there's something about the essence that you feel, the wairua that you feel, which is that our beautiful brown tamariki, are, all colours, not just brown, sorry, <laughs> are brilliant. They are amazing, they are talented, they are confident, they have this beautiful connection, not only just to their culture, but they're learning about other cultures. And that gives me incredible faith about our future forward. We need that kind of Absolutely. leadership, um, I suppose, to help us solve some of the crazy big problems that we're facing, not just in Aotearoa, but globally. And when I see stages and mapu like that, I know that we're in good hands, so it's, um, yeah, everything is the yeah. short answer, everything. Oh, we're... Yeah. I, I have nothing else to add, but you, <laughs> you've literally answered the whole question. Thank you very much, my dear sister. <laughs> Did you have anything else to add? Leo. Okay, thank you. I know that we'll probably end up having you guys on the couch again, maybe, if we're before you leave, and I want to ask you two for a highlight by then, so don't think you're away with this. <laughs> but thank you very much. For, I, I totally agree. The volunteers, the people in the background, you have to give them a huge shout-out because we know without them, this, all of this just doesn't happen. So, nui. Right, up next, whānau, we have Q Kindergarten, tutored by Mel and Alana. Q Kindergarten is where we all learn to be kind to ourselves, each other, and our environment. This is what it means to be a bucket filler. Over to the stage, Fano, for Q Kindergarten.
That was amazing. Uh, we're going to hop into some highlights, so here we go. Oh, how cute are they? Yeah, very cute. <laughs> I think someone's a wee bit uh, starstruck, eh? Standing on, on, uh, on the stage, the lights, the cameras. Yeah, look at the kaha and these boys. Oh, those boy look mean. Yo. I don't know how they made those ones, eh? Mm. Like, we're just going to do a quick uh, sponsor plug, everyone. We aren't, can't do any of this without our sponsors. So to Creative New Zealand, Te Puni Kōkiri, Community Trust South, ILT Foundation, ILT Invercargo Licensing Trust, Invercargo City Council, Ministry of Youth Development, Community Organisation Grant Scheme, aka COGS, Winton, Gore, Windsor and Alice Road, New World, Wallace Town School. And Southland Boys High School. School. Ooh, yeah. yeah, massive shout out to the Mihoro team as well. Now up next, whānau, we have Edendale Primary School, tutored by all the teachers at Edendale Primary School with, a fantastic, with the fantastic help from Sean Parkinson. Kia ora. We are Edendale Primary School, a small rural school. Where dreams begin, the whole school was here today. We're crossing over to the stage, Vano.
beautiful performance from Edendale Primary School. That was amazing. Thank you, Edendale, and obviously out to the tutors and uh, to Sean who had gone in for all the, to, help, to support the teachers and all their mahi. Uh, we've got a few messages here from our chat box. I just want to send a huge mihi out to uh, who's in there? Ngere Paul. Uh, Italia. Does that mean you're from Italy? Man, we've got people tuning in from Italy, are they? Wow. And also a huge shout out to everyone who is uh, tuning in from around the world. I think we have people from uh, uh, Kawero in the Bay of Plenty, uh, from over in Australia, the UK, Canada. USA, man, thank you. Very humbling to, to have you tune in to our Miharo Muri Hiku Poly Fest for 2023. Also, Etefano, just another wee uh, reminder please be aware of scammers. Just to let everyone know, this is all free to watch. You do not have to pay for the link. So, if there's anything out there that is telling you you need to enter any details to access this link, you do not. It is all free to air. All right, next. Coming up next. Coming up next, we have Best, Best Up North Road, uh, tutored by Sandy. Best Start North Road Kapahaka Group have been practicing since the start of the year. We have done performances at our centre events and at the well, Wenar Jackson Retirement Home. We are excited to be able to share our waiata. Please give it up for Best Start North Road Kapahaka.
Thank you to Best Start North Road Kapahaka Group. Now we're going to have a quick look at some highlights. Our day is going so well with Te Fano. I hope you're all tuning in. All right. Next up, Fano, we have Nga Tanifa o Muri Huku, tutored by Hakopa Thomas. Our kayako are brothers, Kingi, who was actually on our seat today, Kingi Thomas, Hakopa Hani, and Matiaha Thomas, who began Mauraku and Muri Finua and moved here last year to Muri Huku. Through Mauraku, we've been learning our connections here in Murihiku, gaining a high tolerance for endurance and physical strength, whilst building on our own identity, both Māori and non-Māori alike. Our ropu have been training extensively for one whole year. We also hold and attend Mauraku Wānanga every month throughout the Waipounamu to prepare and specialise in the art. We have a grading coming up in September, where our ākonga can earn their first tipare and toa earn higher level tipare. We are so proud of all our akonga and hope you enjoy our mahi. Our fa aroha for the art of mauraku. No reire te whano. They're going to be coming on stage very shortly, but I can tell you now that we already know that um, some of the mahi they do with mauraku is very intense. It is as is, hearty, is and if anyone's ever tried it, it's quite hard. Maybe we've done a little bit of mauraku oh, yeah, in school. We've done it. Sort of hard. Yeah. Oh. Tell me what's like probably your hardest stance. Hardest stance? Definitely te hoi. Te hoi. I, I, I can't really hold a count for that we're just long. Gonna, yeah, that's, a, that's real hard to do and hold. <laughs> we're just going to cross over to a quick video with Te whanau. Check it out.
No rere te whanau, we are here with Nga, Nga Tanifa o Murihiku. Cross over to the stage for Nga Tanifa o Murihiku. We also hold and attend Mauraako Wānanga every month throughout Te Waipaunamu to prepare and specialise in the art. We have a great end coming up in September where our akunga can earn their first tipare and toa earn higher level tipare. We are so proud of all of our akunga and hope you enjoy our mahi, our aroha for the art of Mauraako. Let's hear it for Nga Tani Whao Murihiku! see these little things on our head they're kind of like a ranking system and um, even though he's younger than me he's got a higher po than me so at the end of the day whatever he says I have to do hucks you have to lead the haka okay all right so I have to listen to that guy anyway we're just gonna show you a few little things that we do small little drills um, actions and stuff so this first one two wai wataki here pretty simple it's kind of um, similar to army drill yeah Just have a happy gander yeah so this is actually pretty hard some people um, yeah this helps um, helps us to build endurance fitness um, memory uh, it also helps us be light on our feet so one of the main purposes of Murako is to be light on our feet to prepare you for your tough eyes which are kind of just fights <clears throat> the next thing I'm, uh, we're going to show you um, our movements, basic, small, like position, positioning. Um, some of them, most of them have um, a lot of meanings to them. Um, some of them are power. Some of them are karo, so strikes and blocks. Um, some of them are also specific to a single person who, who fights different ways. Um, others can symbolize what you see on a marae, as you can see. So tumato. God of War to my Tawinga. Oh, 
The next series of things we're going to show you are some YY. Uh, this also helps with being light on your feet. Um, yeah. Just have a look. We'll do it. So these guys, we've been doing it for a while. Um, they're actually preparing for their grading, which is in September next month. Um, so hopefully no one makes a mistake. Um, but yeah, we've been doing this mahi since last year, August. It's been a long journey. Um, they're disciplined as like a lot of these people standing up on the stage. Believe it or not, they when they started, they were all shy. Same with me. I never used to be a confident guy. Before I started Modako, I was actually the guy in the corner doing nothing with my head down. But then I found Modako and now I'm up here on stage talking on a microphone. Um, yeah, a good example of this is our sister Maya who's at the, at the back over there. Um, yeah, but when she started Modako, she was so shy. She was so shy. Now look at her. She's just chilling, you know, angelic, yeah, but this is our mahi anyway, we're just here to fill up a bit of time, you know, to show you some, some mahi, and then, yeah. We're just going to do a haka now, and then you can give us a mean clap, give us a clap now, yeah, thank you. Too much to Natanifa or Murihiku. Watching you guys on stage, watching them on stage, amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, we've done a little bit of Maurako and now Kura. Can you tell me what's uh, 
some of the memories of your Morocco learning. Some of the memories. I have like no memories. Yeah. I can't even remember. <laughs> oh. Like some of those jumps are the two way way taka here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's pretty hot. Yeah, yeah. that's really hot. It took oh, me just to land that. Yeah. And yeah. uh, build your calves. Hey, yeah, build like your you get some massive calves. Yeah. So if you're wanting to focus on the calves, whānau, you need to look up some Mauraku. Uh Always works on the way way. Potahi is about um, your grounding uh, and it uh, is connected to Papa Tuanuku, obviously, with their grounding. So, through there, obviously, our grounding is our YY, so there's a big focus in Potahi on your YY, uh, getting those correct because if your YY are right, the rest of it will flow. Now, I know if any of you are interested in learning some Mauraku, um, I know they practice at least once a week. They hui ngā tanifa o muriku. So, you'll just have to. Um, Kōrero to Hakopa, uh, Thomas, or to Kingi, they'll be able to give you those details, or we'll find it out, and then we'll be able to share those details with you at a later time. Um, but, yeah, whānau, if you want to get into it, it's the Māori version of martial arts. Hey, Mauraku, and it is awesome to get into. Good skill to learn, especially if you're into kapahaka. No pai? Nō reire te whānau, we're going to move on to our next group. Up next, we have George... Uh, a Gorge Road Primary School, and the tutors are Cherie, uh, or is tutored by Cherie Keenan. Our offer is our entire school, from year one to eight. We have several children who have only just recently came into our school, and more than a few for whom this is their first poly first. We wish to express our thanks to Ngai Tahu for the for the wonderful taonga. Taonga. and Rowemi Rowemi provided to us with uh, provided to us via the website with the waiata we have chosen we seek to honour our tipuna and pūrako that have been passed down Ete no. this is their first time the whole school is here uh, with several children who have been just recently come to our school this is awesome no mai Ete no to Gorge Road Primary School.
Car Pite, Car Pite to Mahi George Road Primary. As you can see, Junior has now left me and we welcome back Hannah to the couch. Kia ora. How's kia ora, it been emceeing, mate? Uh, it's been good, but I got tired, a bit lazy, so I decided I'd better come up here and have uh, sleep on the couch. <laughs> All right, yeah. Fano, up next we have Tokonui Primary School, tutored by Luan Hawks. Half of the Tokonui school have opted to be part of our Kapaka Ropu. The rest of the school are proud supporters of them. Tokonui translate to big, many rocks, and we all certainly do that. Thank you to all our Fano supporters and Mr. Hayes on the get. Ngamahi.
Nga mihi nui, that was awesome. You're in for a treat, Fano. Tokunui are being joined by Tisbury and Gorge Road out back to jam out a couple wire together. Welcome to the stage, Tisbury, Gorge Road, and Tokunui School. Tokunui School. <laughs> It's cool. How good was that? Now, we have a couple of groups um, to join Tokunui, I think. Is that right? Am I right in saying that? Yep, they're going to join them. So we have Tisbury School and Gorge Road. Do we have any Tisbury and Gorge Road fans in the audience today? Very good, very good. I expect some noise then after every item. All right, everyone give it up for Tokunui, Gorge Road and Tisbury School. Let's go, baby.
Thank you, Tokanui Gorge Road and Hisbury. That was beautiful. Ata Huakoto. Big shout out to Mito's mum from the chat box. A big shout out to my son, Mito Malo san. You're <laughs> doing awesome. Love you, mum. <laughs> nah, I love oh. you too, mum. I love you. Piwari. Okay, coming on stage now, we have Thornbury School. Tutor is Kay Tevietdale. Introducing the entire school of Thornbury. Each class has been learning their own song taking real attention to the pr pronunciation of Te Reo. We sing Waiata all year, but these are new songs for us. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the a video. video. <laughs> nah, Zane, he's still. Kia ora whanau. just want to give a big thank you to our sponsors, Creative NZ, Te Puni Kōkiri, Community Trust South, ILT Foundation, ILT Licensing Trust, oh, Invercargill Licensing Trust, Invercargill City Council, Ministry of Youth Development, Community Organisation Grant Scheme, aka COGS, Winton, Gore, Windsor and Alice Road, New World, Wallace Town School, and Southland Boys High School. Woo. Over to the stage, whānau for Thornberry School. Yeah. If I pronounce it wrong, I think that's Tivia Dale. Introducing the entire school of Thornbury, each class have been learning their own song, taking real attention to the pronunciation of Te Reo. We sing Waiatas all year, but these are new songs for us. Everyone give it another round of applause for Thornbury School. Choo-hoo! Let's go.
That was a beautiful performance, Thornbury School. Don't forget find note online to put a message. Oh, don't forget find note online to put a message in the chat box. Let us know who you are, where you're watching from, and who you're watching. Now we're gonna welcome to the stage Minzy's College, tutored by Samantha Johnstone, Lucky Hayes, and Fire Bix. Minzy's College Kabaka Ropu Na Awa e Toru come from the Awa of the Mataura in the Eastern Southland. Our Ropu consists of students from Year 7 to Year 13. A huge ngamihi out to Kaya Alize, who spent many hours sharing her Matauranga with our Ropu and has done some ohim, awesome mahi teaching and preparing our Ropu for their time on the Atamira. Also, to Fire Ashley, thank you so much for all your support guidance and for teaching Ngā Awa e Toru over the past two years. We really appreciate it. This term we have been very lucky to have had Fire Bix support our Ropu. Thank you so much for your help. We hope you all enjoy our performance. Now to the stage, Minzi's College! This term we have been really lucky to have had five big support out of food. Thank you so much for your help. We hope you enjoy our performance. Everyone give it up for Minty's College! <laughs>
That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Thank you, Menzies College, for your performance. Oh my gosh, that was powerful. Like, next time, Menzies, I don't want an excuse from you. I want you to be up on that Hotonga stage. You would have rocked that stage on Sunday. So, in two years' time, make sure you're there, Menzies College. Up next, Fano Ma, we have Waka Primary School, and I'll get to their bio just shortly. But, just want to have a wee mention to our Manaki Queens, Nga Tohunga o Te Manaki Kiruto e Te Kihini, uh, our cooks, our, our mamas, our, our kuia who are in there feeding all of the whānau, the volunteers, a big mihi to them. Uh, I've just had my lunch and it was, honestly, the couch is looking like I need to lie down on it. <laughs> but I won't, I won't, I'll keep it together whānau. Um, but yeah. Huge mihi to ngā tohunga o te manaki, uh, kua ki mai nā tātou nei puku, kua puta apito, so, so, uh, so full now, kua makona, so I'm done. <laughs> anyway, whānau, we've got a group coming up next, Weka School, uh, Weka Primary School, uh, tutored by Rochelle Robbins, uh, by Rochelle Robbins. Uh, we've got a little bit of a highlights coming up for you, so have a wee look, whānau, Menzies College, come on now, two years time, te hautonga! Fierce. Oh, it looks ripped as the man. Nga mihi ki a koe, Junior, for stepping in um, for us. We were a little bit late. Yeah, because someone was late. No, no, it was his fault. Late. It was Mito's fault. Because someone was late. Um, no. Me and Kingy are witnesses. You guys no. are late. She actually kept us no. here. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Menzies College. Wake uh, up preschool. To the... Tutors are Rochelle Robbins. Wika's multicultural learning environment, a special place where we celebrate the opportunity to incorporate listening to cultures, ensuring we're all valued for our uniqueness and tongue of language. Wika has been practicing for a couple of months, ensuring confidence, involvement and understanding is developed by the performing tamariki. We are fortunate to have knowledge, dribble kaiko, Kate, who shares her cultural passion for us all to enjoy. Okay. I don't think that... To the stage. <laughs> We're late because of her. No! <laughs> Fine, do we? 
Up on the Ata meter right now, this is Weka Preschool. For Kayako Kate, who shares her cultural passion for all of us to enjoy. Everyone give it up for Kate as well. So good. Um, put your hand up if you have tutored a group that have performed so far. Oh, there's so many, so many here. Um, so these are the people that kind of perform back and behind the scenes who are very special to us. Obviously, these groups couldn't get up here and do their thing without the tutors and the people that make it happen. Principals, teachers um, who allow the groups to have the space and um, kind of use the classrooms to perform and practice. Um, so we're pretty lucky to have all those tutors. So I want everyone to just make some noise for these tutors and teachers and staff who work hard to... Um, let these groups come up here and perform. Make some noise. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Makes me, no, Jackson won't say that. <laughs> Look at them all holding each other. Oh my gosh. I wish I was that cute when I was little. I was just small and chubby. All right. One more. <laughs> Excuse you. All right. One more time. Wicked preschool. Thank you. 
Ngā mihi nui wika preschool. We'd like to give a big thank you to our sponsors, Creative NZ, Te Puni Ko Kiri. Community Trust South, ILT Foundation. ILT Invercargo License Licensing Trust, Invercargo City Council. Ministry of Youth Development, Community Organisation Grant Scheme, aka COGS. Winton, Gore, Windsor and Ellis Road, New World, Wallace Town School. And Southland Boys High School. <laughs> Up next we have Tisbury Kappa Karafiwa. Tutors are Jessica, or Jess Miller and Alice Thompson. Welcome to the stage, Tisbury Kappa Karafiwa. We'd like to thank our tutors, Jess Miller and Alice Thompson. Welcome to the stage, Tisbury Kappa Karafiwa.
That was an amazing performance from Tisbury Kapakara Fuwa. 
Shout outs from the chat from Carly supporting Thornbury School. Kia ora e ho. We're down to the final three. It's Hemi Hakena Kapa Haka Teine or Teina up next. Tutored by Chloe Madden, Steph Wilson, and Mandy Saunders. Hemi Hakena Kapa Haka Teina is excited to bring you our performance for Polyfest this year. We've been working hard with our Year 8 tuakana, doing an amazing job supporting our new Year 7 Taina, who have brought so much passion into the Ropu as well. Thank you to Miss Madden, Fire Steph, Mrs Saunders for their mahi. We're also so grateful for the support of our whānau and from our senior campus tuakana. Fano ma, we're going to play you a video now. Yeah, kakite. Hello, I'm Michael Caressa. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter from Chicago, um, Samoan Nguyen descent, and I had the pleasure of, while well, having my Make It Last release party at Miha. As a singer-songwriter, looking back, my first um, performance on the stage was actually with Miharo um, at Polyfest, and they host such a good ship here and giving opportunities to kids all over Southland and around schools to perform and I was just one of those lucky ones and um, yeah I'm happy to represent that and say that that was my first performance and one of many so far so yeah the staff are great welcoming people with open arms here and I remember asking during the night how everyone's feeling and you know, if someone yelled out warm and I was like yeah that's the feeling that you feel when you come to me hug. So one of the values that um, stuck out to me from this Meharu crew was um, Fanongatanga and they really hold that standard high um, and the show the other night was just a testament to that and they offer the facilities and as I said the warm arms um, for people to come through and build that connection because we don't have that opportunity a lot in Nimbukagal um, but these guys hold that high and, and make sure that everyone gets an opportunity to get together and enjoy some music and some laughs and I feel like that's what it's all about and keeping relationships strong. I would definitely recommend Miharo um, as a venue um, for people to come in and host events and literally anything because these guys um, can transform this place into something great one day and then something even greater the next day. Yeah, I've seen it through this process and I would definitely recommend like up and coming artists or any artists to come and use this space because it's such a warm, intimate um, spot. Yeah. Before the next group, we like, we'd like to give a big thank you to our sponsors, Creative NZ, Te Puni Kokiri, Community Trust South, ILT Foundation, Foundation. ILT Invercargill Licensing Trust, Invercargill City Council, Ministry of Youth Development, Community Organisation Grant Scheme, aka COGS, Winston, Gore, Win, Winston, and Ellis Road New World, Wallace Town School, and Southland Boys High School, Ngamihi Kia Koutou, Mote Tautoko I Te Kou Papa Nei, Mai Kore Ko Koutou, Mai Kore Ko Te Kou Papa Nei E Tū. He mi hā ki nā rōpū, kapa ka teina. To the stage! Woo! <laughs> I think we are going to make it louder, be louder for Michael to perform. Make some noise if you want to hear or see Michael perform. I'll tell you what, Michael told me behind stage, the next, um, next time we have some minutes to kill, he's going to put, he's going <laughs> to sing us a song. We've got a guitar at the back, but lucky, uh, we'll, we'll save yeah, that for the next that one. That is just so... Up next we have <laughs> James Hargis. You're being very honest with everyone right now. We appreciate it so much. Thank you for, um, <laughs> for telling everyone that. We've got a guitar back there, Roy. Yeah, Roy, Roy's got a guitar back there. Yeah, and it's broken, so we can't use it today, unfortunately. <laughs> um, anyway... We are going to get into introducing our next group. <laughs> Everyone make some noise for uh, Hemi Hakena Kapahaka Teina.
The tutors are Chloe, Steph, and Mandy Saunders. Hemi Hakana Kapahakatena is excited to bring you our performance for Polyfest this year. We've been working hard with our Year 8 Tuakana, doing, amaz doing an amazing job supporting our new Year 7 Tena, who have brought so much passion into our Ropu as well. Thank you to Miss, <laughs> thank you to Miss Madden, Fire Steph, and Mrs. Saunders for their mahi. We are also so grateful for the support of our Fano and from our senior campus Tuakana. Everyone, give it up for Hemi Hakana. Let's go. Hold that. Oh, no. 
panel. A hoodie. Let's see where Hana is on the roaming camera. Tēnā tātou whānau, I'm here outside of ILT Polyfest where we're seeing heavy, heavy, severe warnings for showers of aroha to our whānau up on the stage right now. We have Hemi Hākena here that we're just supporting their Rōpūtēna um, standing just as you saw on the stage right now. And we're going to ask them to give you a big wave. Wave to the camera! Oh, look at that. Got the whole kura in there supporting everyone today. Um, also, oh, kia ora. Look, volunteer, Buzzy B. Kia ora. Kia ora. All right, I think we're going to chuck it back over to Mito and Kingi on the couch. Kakite. Uh, short Hana. Up next is Rimuru School Kapahaka Ropu, tutored by Michelle Clark, Auntie Pip, Sally Middleton, and Georgia Bryan. Today, our Ropu Kapahaka proudly represents our kura, whānau, and our community. <laughs> <laughs> 
Our program tells the story of how we value the importance of whanaungatanga, aroha, ako, manakitanga, and mana motuhake. Our tamariki, whanau, kayako, and tutors have worked very hard to arrive ready to take the stage today. We have loved practicing together and enjoying ourselves. We would like to thank all of the people who have had supported us in our journey this year. Back to the stage. Woo!
Rimus, Rimus, go kapahaka ropu. Let's see where Hana is on the roaming camera. Kia ora, e te iwi. I'm here backstage after our most recent ropu just got off the stairs. How piwari, and I'm joined here with Michael Carissa. And we're going to ask him a quick little part tie. What does Polyfest mean to you? Polyfest is um, just a huge sense of pride and passion um, and camaraderie um, and just respect for our, ourselves and our culture and our heritage and where we come from. So super stoked to be here today and to have the honour of emceeing with the lovely Peter Carissa. Um, and the groups have just been amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty special. Okay, back to the couch. Shot Hana. Up next is Verdon College Kapahaka, tutored by Keita Thompson. Let's welcome to the stage Verdon College Kapahaka Ropu.
what a wonderful performance. Shout out to Alicia who was on stage, who has been hanging out up here in the production room. This is our last performance of the days by Southland Girls High School, Oliula. Woo! Oliula from Southland Girls High School has members from year 7 to 13. They have shown full commitment and are practicing all year for Polyfest, but have also performed in assemblies, at PIAC, for the staff, and at Open Night. The group celebrates a range of cultures from the Pacific, including Samoa, Cook Islands, Tuvalu, Tonga, Kiripati, and Fiji. Yeah, my lord. My lord. There is family feel in the group, with all the Ainga class being members of Oliula and also having several family members as part of the group. The group is led by my cousin, Captain Vaimoa Lafonga, assisted by my cousins, Belessing Peseta and Tui Fiso. So to all the Ainga watching at home, please give it up for Oliula! Woo! Assemblies at PIACT uh, for the staff and at Open Night. The group celebrates a range of cultures from the Pacific, including Samoa, Cook Islands, Tuvalu, Tonga, Kiribati and Fiji. There is a family feel in the group, with all the Ainga class being members of Oliula and also having several members from their families as a part of the group. The group is led by by the captain Vaimoa Lafonga, assisted by cousins Policing Pesta and Tui Fiso. Another big round of applause for Southland Girls High School's Oliula!
just giving us a taste of what to expect on Thursday night. A very, very small taste. <laughs> we were trying to watch it and it was getting like really, really good. And then we... Nga mihi nui whanau, that is a wrap for day two of Murihuku Polyfest. It's been a great day here sitting on the couch. What a day of celebrating our cultural identities. Great performances today, a few teary-eyed moments out there. Epe kaka tautoko, what a day. We have had whanau tuning in to tautoko from all over Aotearoa, Australia, the USA, Canada and the United Kingdom. Kia ora whanau. We'd like to give a big thank you to our sponsors, Creative NZ, Te Puni Kiri, Community Trust South, IRT Foundation, IRT Invercargill Licensing Trust, Invercargill City Council, Ministry of Youth Development, Community Organisation Grant Scheme, aka COGS, Winston, Gore, Winston, and Ellis Road New, Z New World, Wallace Town School, and Southland Boys High School. Yay. Today on the stage, we have had performances from <laughs> Te Rauru Whakatipuranga or Awarua and AWS South, Sprouts. River, Riverton Aparima Primary. Just Four Kids Home Base Care. Dingiri Kindi. Winton School. Ruru School Potama. Winden Kindi. Drummond Rural Kindi. Little Ones Early Learning Centre. Southland Adventist Christian School. Tutudo Primary School. Waverley Park School Pacifica. Winden Primary School. Q Kindi, Edendale Primary School, Best Start North Road Kapahaka, Nga Tanifa o Mirihiku, yeah. Gorge Road <laughs> Primary School, Tokanui Primary School, Tisbury School, Thornbury School, Menzies College Nga Awa e Toru, Weka Preschool, Tisbury Kapahaka Karafua, Hemihakina Taina Kapahaka, Rimu School Kapahaka Rope, Verdon College, and Southland Girls High School Oliula. Don't forget Rangatahi Toa is on Thursday night 6pm with performances from all our secondary schools and a special performance from Sam V. Ooh. An event not to be missed. Get down here Fano Thursday night at ILT Stadium Southland. Hmm. We'll be back here on the couch tomorrow. The show starts 9am. See you then. <laughs> Home yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,